This past Friday, beer and politics converged at the Granite Run Tap Room in Port Deposit. Beer makers and enthusiasts came to learn about the Reform on Tap Act of 2018, a bill that removes numerous regulations that small brewers say are overly restrictive. Maryland controller Peter Francho, an advocate for the bill, spoke to the gathering. I'm delighted to be here and talk just a minute about beer because right now, the state has 85 small family-owned breweries in the state of Maryland. They represent $800 million in economic activity. They employ 6,500 Marylanders. They make great products. They produce $230 million in wages. They are under attack by the out-of-state big beer interests, corporate interests who for years have controlled the Maryland legislature as if it was their own fiefdom. Well, uh, here come these upstarts, these small independent breweries that are making products that are a lot more popular than Budweiser, Coors, Miller, and all the big boys. Okay, so what have they done? They've gotten together in Annapolis. They've passed uh, recently a law that was very restrictive of the new breweries. It governed how they produce beer, how they transport beer, how they uh, sell beer to consumers, how they distribute it. There are all sorts of conditions attached which make the state of Maryland now uh, the worst state in the country to open up a small craft brewery. It's happened over the years. It culminated last session in a bill called House Bill 1283. Frankly, uh, that was just about a knife in the back to these small breweries. We got it amended in the Senate, so everybody here got grandfathered. But the new breweries that we're trying to recruit are, are saying to me, uh, you're kidding. You want me to start a brewery in Maryland? I'm not moving my brewery from out of state. So that's a big problem. Virginia is over campaigning to get all of our breweries to move to Virginia. Pennsylvania is doing the same thing. They say, come to our states. We love you. We appreciate you. We welcome you. We understand you're popular with young people. We understand that you're good for the economy. Come. Oh, and by the way, when you make, when you drink a beer like the one I'm drinking right now from Union Craft, that represents, because it was made in Maryland, so much more economic activity than if I drank, and it tastes a heck of a lot better <laughs> than some of the United States. So, that's the situation. If you could help us out and sign the petition that we have, uh, call your delegates. Uh, they all voted wrong last year, so you don't have to look anything up. Uh, <laughs> they're all on the wrong side, so now we have to switch them and bring them over to our side. We we'll put in a series a bill that's going to be considered uh, and voted on, and we're going to carry it right into the elections. Now, let me just make a comment about the elections. There's a lot of unease, a lot of anxiety out there, a lot of people who are concerned and this, that, and the other thing. Don't worry about it. We live in the greatest country, in the greatest state in the, in the world. In the history of the world, we're the richest country. So we're going to make it through everything. And we're going to help ourselves a little bit by helping the craft brewing industry. Uh, because that will both help us economically and help us feel better and calm down a little bit about politics. Hi, my name is Jessica Finchel. I'm from the Maryland Beer Company. We are in the process of trying to open a Class 5 brewery in Elkton, Maryland. We are going to be located in the Old Cecil Big Building. We have been in planning since 2015. Uh, we support the Reform on Tap task force because it's going to directly affect us with our tap room sales, our distribution sales, and um, our overall business plan will be affected if this um, does not go, if this does not pass legislation. Um, please come out and join us when we open, hopefully this spring 2018. Thank you. I'm here at Bayheads Brewing Company with Charlie Copeland. Charlie, how will the Reform on Tap Act of 2018 impact your business and businesses like yours? 
Uh, so the biggest thing for the Reform on Tap Act, uh, the most beneficial thing to us, is the removal of all restrictions and limits on beer production, tap room sales, and take home sales. Um, as a small business, our uh, like we have a six barrel startup. Um, we're not planning on wholesaling to start. So our marketing plan and our business model is to drive customers here uh, for on-site consumption and uh, take home sales in the form of growlers. So it's extremely beneficial to us that we don't have a limit or any restrictions on what we're allowed to sell out of here.